I'm going to show you a fun effect that I like to call the splatter panner, or sometimes I just call it the splanter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new Cubase project, select more, and then double click on empty. And then I'm going to make a folder called splanter. And then hit open. And then I'm going to save this project with the exact same name. Now I'm going to need to bring some audio in, and so that you and I can use the exact same audio, go to the media pull-down menu and select Loop Browser. When you do, scroll down to Lead Synth, and then select Arpeggio, and then scroll down this list until you find an arpeggiated synth loop called Percussive Riffs, and it sounds like this. When you find that loop, double click on it and then close the loop browser. And what you'll see is that it will have added that loop to your Cubase project. And the original tempo is around 110 beats per minute. So let's turn off the tempo and just type in 110. Now if we were to play that in time right now, what it would sound like is this. But by using the splanter technique, what you're going to do is cut this audio segment up and create new tracks that have a different stereo placement for every single track. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to make sure that my snap is turned on and I'm going to select use beat. And then I'm going to grab my scissors tool, which I get to by typing three on the upper row of computer keyboard buttons. And then I'm going to subdivide this audio file into eight separate segments. So I'm going to go to that beat and that beat and that beat until I have eight distinct segments. So I've chopped that into eight segments and now I'm going to drag each one down. It's going to automatically add new audio tracks for me. And if I were to play it after I've done that, it will sound identical to the way it did before. But now, let's go to the mixer. So I'm going to go to F3 on my computer keyboard, and I'm going to see all of those tracks. Let's set up a very simple splatter panner, and what we're going to do is on every single one of these audio tracks, we're going to pan each track to a different level. So on the first pan of the first track, I'm going to type in L100. That will move the panner of that track all the way to the left. Then I'm going to go to the next one and type in L75. The next one over is going to be L50. The next one is going to be L25. The next one is going to be R25. The next one R50. Next one after that, R75, and finally R100 for the last track. Now the effect here will be fairly obvious. It's going to start on the left and go all the way to the right. And if you wanted to reverse the order, you could either move the panners on those tracks to different positions, or you could just drag the segments onto the audio track that's panned where you want it. So that's a fairly simple way to set up the splatter panner, but you could also drag them completely out of their current positions and therefore make a really random sounding sort of panning effect. Now let's take it a step further. Let's further subdivide each of these segments, and to do so we're going to select our snap control to use quantize and make sure that the quantize value is set to eighth notes. Now I can go through with my scissors tool by typing three on your upper row of keyboard buttons, and I'm just going to chop each one of these into two segments for every one segment and then come back to my cursor tool by typing 1, and now I can move these around really, really strangely. Let's drag this one up there. This one and this one will be close together, and then these two will get a little bit further apart. This one... Those two will be very wide. Let's, uh, let's have these start to move towards center, 
and all the way across. Let's take a listen to that. Mm, I like the more random effect like this. Those last two, let's put far apart so they'll go left to right. So that allows you to put some real motion into a fairly simple loop, but it certainly does add a lot of audio tracks to your project. So to keep the splatter panner kind of together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a folder track and then move the folder track to the top, click the first of the splatter panner tracks and the last one with the shift key held down so that I select all of them and then I'm going to move those up into the folder and close the folder that way I don't take up so much screen real estate with that effect of eight separate tracks but it'll sound the same mm -hmm. 